So when I was a child, if I do something stupid, I remember one of the things which my parents used to say was children in China are making mobiles right now and look at what you're doing. Well, I guess they were wrong because now teenagers in Goma and Democratic Republic of Congo are making robots in high school. I'm presenting to you Ecole de saint Quentin, which is a school in which I studied also. I did hear my electronic engineering, which at the time I wasn't so much interested in electronics and I remember most of the times when I could read books, I used to read more about astronomy and filmmaking. Even I built a lot of stuff there and one of the things which I built was an FM emitter, an FM broadcast, I don't know how to call it. And these children are now taking it to another level. Today I'm taking you through Ecole de saint Quentin electronic engineering sector. And I think it's the electrical and electronic laboratory. So, the day in which I visited the school, I'm going to pick one of random students here. This is the first thing which they do while designing. You have to draw. They are doing each of them a different electronic sequence in order to avoid one to copy from another one. At least the number of girls is kind of increasing in electronic engineering. They do have a lot of projects and stuff which are left around and things which they're working on. And now comes the time to present to you the robots which are made here by students. <laughs> actually a robot which works as control of traffic lights in the city of Goma and the government used them until they couldn't work one I remember it was because of an accident there is a group of young students and here's the strange thing for the very first time they made one by themselves without anyone's support and just their own ideas the guy told me he was 16 when they made this whole thing Mupanda Luboto Josephus, Kambali Kiunda Jospin, Kasereka Vake Pines, Hekimambeo Melkisedek, Fazilise Dia Felix, Mutiru Aline Jean de la Croix. These are just teenagers who could make something very huge like this by themselves and it could be used actually for better stuff. It took them up to six months in 2018 to complete this whole project. And once they had their first stuff out, which everyone saw and everyone was kind of proud of them for what they did, they now got a little bit of support from the school and teachers of the school to now make a second one, which was dressing like a student from Ecole de Saint-Contenay. That's when they made the second version which took them only 10 days. Other guys who don't produce stuff, it's not that we are dumb comparatively to others, but sometimes maybe we are not put into the right place to produce things which you want. Let me show you something. I always imagine what could happen if I was exposed to everything which I wanted to know about filmmaking since I was five years old, but now I could have been a little way far. If with tutorials which I started watching and trying to practice since 2018, now I can be at least this a little bit good. I think there is much more room for us working on our things instead of saying Chinese are better than us. Congratulations so much to call this a continent and to these genius. Thanks so much for being here. Catch you next time.